Now we'll move on to the topic one that is nature of workers participation management. How far the worker participate in the decision making of an organization. That's what exactly this talks about. So it is a kind of you know system of communication and consultation either formal or an informal method through which an employee of an organization are kept informed about the affairs of the understanding and through which they express their opinion and contribute to the management decision making. In a simple sentence, it is, could be an informal or a formal kind of a way how an employee is involved in whatever kind of activities which is happening around the organizations and uh, how effectively you know their suggestions or consultation can be taken so that you know the employee is also happy employer is also happy and ultimately you know they go uh, towards an you know market uh, driven activity so that's what exactly worker participation and management now let's try to look at uh, what is the objective of this workers participation management the it has got a various kind of an objective uh, you know it is basically to elevate the worker status in the industry so there will be an importance will be given for an uh, you know employee that's an fundamental idea the second kind of an idea is basically to you know promote uh, democratic uh, practices instead of autocratic uh, practices and ultimately you know you increase the productivity with the joint efforts uh, you know you try to do better kind of an you know, output and uh, you try to you know promote the cordial kind of a relationship with uh, you know the entire uh, you know group of employees and prevent exploitation of workers and uh, both from the employee side as well as on the employer side and ultimately to create a good communication system and to build the most dynamic kind of a human resources these are the idea or an objective behind uh, you know uh, starting up with the work uh, worker participation management now let's try to look at uh, the importance of workers uh, participation management the the these are the kind of you know way they try to you know look out uh, what is the importance why this worker has to participate in the management decision making basically to inculcate a mutual understanding between an employer and an employee uh, by you know making uh, the employee feel proud of the entire system the second one is higher productivity can be you know uh, brought in and ultimately you know when the employee started participating in all the major decision makings they will be actively involved and uh, naturally you know when there is active involvement productivity also increases and the third one is industrial harmony will occur between employee and an employer so they will maintain a very good relationship and ultimately you know industrial democracy can be brought in because it's not only unilateral it's like actually you know bilateral where employee also suggesting and employer also you know suggesting so these are the ways actually you know we can bring in a win-win kind of situations and uh, less resistant to changes if a the organization brings any kind of a change they will inform that particular change well in advance and they try to you know probably implement it so whenever any change management happens there will be very 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 less you know resistant to particular change and ultimately you know when you are giving them a complete free hand and uh, if they are participating in the decision making they will feel that they are part and owner of the organization so hence you know in order they will consider an accountability and responsibility will be taken into consideration and they will feel that they are an entrepreneur so they will try to bring in a lot of creativity and innovation so these are the ways you know workers participation management is a very very different thing and let's look at what are the kind of a form in which uh, the participation can be enhanced uh, basically you know one is consultative kind of a participation when we talk about consultative kind of a participation before organization could take any kind of a major decision making they call for a meeting either formally or informally they consult a particular employee and uh, during a you know, consultation they seek lot of advices and the feasibility aspect from the employee side that's one form of it and the second kind of a form of it is actually you know more of an informative participation where uh, before you could take any kind of a decision making you try to inform and uh, you know before it could be get implemented you try to inform to the employees and make them you know understand and convince them as to why this particular uh, change is actually you know warranted at the moment and the third one is your administrative kind of a participation where uh, you know even in the administrative 
uh, implementation part of it uh, you make even the employees also part of the particular uh, you know decision making and associative participation before you could actually implement any kind of changes or any kind of you know new strategy uh, we try to you know probably associate the employee and employee will act as a kind of a change agent and the other one is the decision and decisive kind of a participation all major decision making level itself they will be acting as kind of a major uh, you know uh, what you call it as input uh, uh, has been given from the employee side and ownership participation whatever kind of a you know, decision making you take it assign a particular employee let them take the ownership of the entire thing make it success so these are the ways actually you know different forms of participation you can bring in and uh, that's a way actually if you look at it uh, employee performance uh, you know employee participation in uh, management is a very very essential kind of a thing because unless you do that we may not be able to bring about the best kind of an result